here's a couple of the hives that we requeened the other other week when we were mucking around here we'll have a look at some little nukes we've got up there as well they've been quite good but we'll have a poke ahead in here while we're here these girls were really angry that's why i put some nice new italian queens with them so they can chill out a bit i'd say one thing about these styrofoam boxes it would be most advantageous not to put the smoker on the lid because I think they might get a little bit excited. Tin lids, all good. Plastic flowy lids, all bad. Here they go, so that bit going on in here. It starts to expand a little bit. Maybe we'll take that one out of there. So we can see what we're doing. What's going on in here? It'll be a bit gentle because they're only, only a young little colony so we don't want to stir them up too much because they're just trying to build them up for the winter. It's coming together all right I reckon. So it's not much on that side but on this side she's got a nice pattern going. She's all starting off queen cells in here too. There we run. Oh, there she goes. She's gone off to hide now. <laughs> the last thing you want to do is lose her after all that effort. <laughs> As I was saying earlier, these were the ones that we split off of some really angry boxes. So the, some of these bees are still a bit towy. But as you can see, we've got that lovely little relaxed Italian queen. So. They start, they're definitely calmed down a lot because when we did the split they were blooming trying to eat me. Now they're busy just looking after themselves. Um, so I give it another month and this new lot of brood that's in there hatches out and they'll all be beautiful and transferred over. And they should be much easier to work. But I am still like the whole genetic mix of having a few of these crazy um, wild bees but not the ones that are so wild that you can't work them. Oh, these girls have started a new queen. They must have lost her, lost her. Because that's what happens too. Sometimes you get the new, and she doesn't live very long, but she keeps her genetic code going. Look at that, we've got quite a lot of queen cells there. Looks like the new queen is, um, hasn't lived very long, but she's laid a few eggs here, because they didn't have any brood to make anything with. And this is a month down the track anyway, so she might not have made it, but she's laid some nice queen cells there. So we've got one, two, three, four that I can see. Which is kind of groovy because we've got a new cup here that I'm not sure, I don't think the queen made it. So we might cut one of those cells out and put it in their box. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, she was sick or damaged or some shit. I said that might work out all right actually because like I said, we've got one over here that's in a bit of trouble. So if we wanted to get real excited, we could probably do a few more splits. So these are the splits that we did in the next week after that in the little nuke boxes. I'm really sure that one there lost its queen, so we might have a look in there, see what they're up to. And if so, we could steal one of those new queen cells in the hope that that will work. The other day when I was here stuffing around checking these, a bloke didn't bring any markers or any way to um, decide which box was which. And so I thought, well, just in case the bloke doesn't remember, that this was the box that the Queen didn't take in. I thought I'd put a little marker in there, so, you know. There are always available shotgun shells around this place. Makes it very hard to get the frames apart. Anyway, what have we done, cheeky babes? Well, there might be a Queen in here. I reckon that's some young stuff there. They might have made their own. So that's a bummer. Now we've got to find her. Oh, frick. Oh, there she is. Well, I did see her in there. They have got a queen. Just I'm not sure. I don't think this is the queen that we brought with us. I was in the queen that they were meant to accept. I think they might have made their own. So, but anyway, I can't find her again. And due to the constraints of what else we've got to do today, we might just move on and I might come back another day. Well, I will come back another day. <laughs> I mean, they're not quite so stupid. So in this little split they did take the queen and they had the little cell and I just thought well we'll just have a look in here 
We, don't, we won't check them all this morning because I checked them the other day, but just thought for the sake of the viewers, we'll have a bit of a look. Just trying to transform these girls into some workable bees rather than being so angry. They're still a bit feral because these are still the ones that have hatched out and were put in here and hatched out from the seeds that we put in, or the, the eggs, or the... <gasps> there she is! Look at that, there she goes! How gorgeous does she look? $33.50, you can have one of them. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing over here on the honey. So you never know where they're gonna be. So she's probably having a bit of a feed. Now yeah, we're gonna have to get her back in the box without doing anything stupid. Cool. Now so much for them never being out on the honey. That would suck if we killed her, wouldn't it, after all that effort? <laughs> so I reckon another month before we get too much further into the harvest, we'll come down here and put these girls in bigger boxes. We're going to get a bit of honey happening. This is one of those stupid plastic foundations that I don't like. We might put that to the edge. Oh, I suppose they are using it. So. I really don't like that for some reason. I don't know. I don't like it in the brood box anyway, but... What do you do? There's only so much you can do in there. There you go, there's where she's been working. Got a nice little pattern going on. Now all of them should be nice, friendly Italian bees when they hatch out. But you see how fucked up those plastic foundations are? They just don't quite do it right. It makes it too hard for them, I reckon, anyway. That'll be enough excitement. We shouldn't really stir them up too much. I think this is looking good. She's got a nice pattern go got a nice pattern going on. So by the time they hatch out, I reckon in another week or two, and then we have another lap. So within, by the end of this month, these girls will be packed this box out to, to blazes. So, one other interesting thing, if you're not really, um, you know, uh, it, well, okay, if you've got one of those hive, flow hivey things, and you're not really sure and you don't want to pull the thing apart and you want to know how they're going for breeding. If you look at when they land and they come into the hive, if there's a percentage of them, a higher percentage bringing pollen in on their legs. You see how that one's going in? She's got the bit of pollen on her legs. You'll see them quite a lot and that means they're breeding. Well, generally, not always. I mean, it's not 100% science, but generally they'll get more pollen when they're trying to raise some more brood. So it's a good sign.